In 2007, baby Soraya was born measuring just six inches and weighing little more than a bag of sugar. Now five years old, Soraya is just over two feet tall and wears clothes to fit a six-month-old baby. Soraya's tiny frame is a result of a rare form of primordial dwarfism called ATR and she's one of just a few children in the world with the condition and her mum, Atlanta, is with us now. And welcome to you. Thank Hello. you for coming in Thank today. You now, you fell pregnant with Soraya in early 2007, yeah. didn't you? And you already had... Uh, her sister, yeah. her elder sister. Yeah. Um, so the pregnancy, all fine, but little moments where actually oh, when on the graph with the measurements slightly small. Yeah, we, um, we, I mean, up until seven months, we thought everything was normal, and it's only when um, we went to the midwife, <coughs> excuse me, and the midwife said that you are quite small. Um, and so he was taken to hospital weekly to have scans and be monitored. Um, and they just, they kept saying that she's a lot smaller. They never quite told us how small she was in comparison to what a baby's growth should be at that stage. Um, they just said she's quite small. Um, they were quite under the impression it was just mal malnutrition. Mm. Um, the placenta wasn't working too good sometimes. One week it would be OK, following week it wouldn't. But nothing to um, worry about Nothing to stage. worry about. And I think, and I, because they was just convinced I needed to eat more, um, steroids should be helping her along, um, mm. really, that should really be it um, and maybe she'll need some care when she's born just to kind of plump her up mm. um, but that's but so when she was born it was clear was so, immediately yeah, there was a yeah, major medical yeah. issue um, they they even said that she's she's not what we expected we expected skin and bones and she was extremely small but chubby and they said that's not what they were prepared for and not what you were prepared for either i mean quite a scary moment you you for five hours you we didn't get to see her. her. No, we weren't allowed to see her. Um, she was sort of whisked away and all sorts of... Feeding was a tricky thing yeah, right from yeah, the off. Yeah. You were unable to breastfeed because she needed to be tube-fed. Yeah. Even when she was tube-fed, she was would... still a problem. She would... Throw up the food everything again. Everything that went down, yeah, would go, go straight back up. So um, just a complete nightmare, yeah. actually. Yeah, and for us, it was quite... Um, I mean, Dad was more the, the rock in it. Me, I was, I was quite all over the place. He, he took it in his stride, but she... You look at her and you just see this this tiny baby, but you don't quite grasp what's mm. what's going on. And because we've never quite experienced anything like that in our family, mm. um, to have, have seen with another child or anything like that, and it happening to yourself, um, you are in quite a lot of shock, I think. Um, and the fact that the doctors aren't giving you no answers. Well, also, they didn't really know at that, that stage, They had did no they? idea. I mean, they, they didn't have any idea up until quite recently. Well, it was a, a, a year of hospitalisation, really, Pretty wasn't much, it? yeah. Yeah, she was in and out of a few hospitals, months on end, um, tests after tests, chromosomes being looked into, everything, and x-rays, everything, blood tests, and everything that she had done was coming back with mm. no answers or no clue as to, as to why she is the way she is. Well, it was just after her first birthday that she came home, and it's at this moment yeah. when you notice that she has this extraordinary fighting spirit, yeah, yeah. and that this little girl is no ordinary little girl. No, she, she, she's, she's, she's something else. She and something she else. went on to kind of shock the doctors because um, it was, it was her father that was very. He was, it was the feeding. He wanted her to he, feed properly, he, not he, just be fed to a he, tube. He wouldn't accept what the doctors were saying. He, he's all credit really does have to go to him. I was quite. For the first two years, I was quite um, not handling it too well. Um, but Dad was the one. He, he wanted to know what's wrong with her throat. Can she eat? The minute they said yes, bring me a jar of food. 